I couldn't find the muff that goes on the top of this mic, so I ended up doing an old film school trick and using a sock. I guess like the only real difference is this one's actually clean. So you get done shooting and you're so excited you shot on film and you get back your digitized film and there's these horrific blue streaks all the way through it. And after sitting in your closet in the dark crying, listening to Frank Ocean, you think, is there any way I can salvage this? Here's a couple techniques that might be useful to you. So there's a couple different ways you can fix this problem in both Premiere and Final Cut. I'm just going to be showing you Premiere, but Final Cut, and I'm sure Avid even, and I know for sure Blackmagic Resolve has these as well. The first option you have is to desaturate these scratches. If your film has kind of a rough film look, you know, you don't mind scratches on the frame, what you can do is go into the effects tab and go to change color and select the color of the scratches. And what I would recommend is first desaturating that blue and then from there dropping the exposure of that color. Because if you just drop the exposure, it just makes it purely black, which kind of looks a little weird. But if you drop the saturation, you can kind of get a gray to where it's less noticeable. I was lucky enough that I was able to do this on my short and it's not really that noticeable because the short film itself is has really high contrast. We shot this on a camera that was from the 20s. I wasn't expecting to get the pure airy SR2 with nice PL mount lens look on the film. I kind of wanted that kind of raw gritty off frame rate film so the scratches aren't really that big of a deal to me. I just needed something to not distract from the story so I did it this way. Also, if you have something else in the frame that is a similar color blue, you can copy your video footage and then just mask it so that the filtered footage is only on the top. Now, the other technique you can do, which is a lot more strenuous, and it, it should be one of the last things you do when making your film, is you cut your film, edit your film, and export just the problematic section of your film as a TIFF or a JPEG, if the quality isn't the biggest deal to you, I would recommend a TIFF. Export it in a TIFF sequence, and frame by frame you can clean up each scratch. With the clone stamp tool and the healing brush, this is going to be the longer option. I would be careful about this this way because it, it can possibly look a little wonky. The healing brush tool isn't going to look exactly the same each frame, so it might just get a little crazy. So just be careful with your, your healing brush tool and your clone stamp tool. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go with with this particular short film. I don't necessarily mind the scratches but I also haven't taken the time to really look through it. When I got this film back, I was so upset at myself and I got so angry and I found, you know, this solution actually was pretty simple. And so if this helps anybody else not hate themselves as much as I do when I get stuff back like this, then I'm, I'm happy. One last side note is this happened to me, I believe because I loaded the film a little too wide and the film scratched the front of the camera. So just be careful when you're loading in your film to make sure kind of everything isn't like super tight, but is tight enough to where it's not messing with the rest of it. I hope this helps. If it does help, please leave a comment and uh, come back every Monday. There'll be a new video on either motion picture or still film. And then on occasional Thursdays, there'll actually be videos or stuff that doesn't quite fit the channel, but you know, might be interesting to you. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.